Hi, this is Lauren Bernofsky, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about my string quartet, Anacostia Journal. This piece I wrote back in 2003, it was the result of a composer residency I did with an organization called the Earth Conservation Corps, and it had a specific chapter called the Eagle Corps in Washington, D.C., and their headquarters were located right on the Anacostia River, which is a river I hadn't heard of at the time. It's in Washington, D.C. It's not the big one we usually hear about, which is Potomac, but Anacostia is um, sadly a very, um, it's sort of the river on the wrong side of the tracks in D.C. It's very polluted and um, parts of the river actually had been biologically dead at one point. It's uh, really a dire situation there. And it was the mission of the people who worked at the Earth Conservation Corps there to not only bring attention to the public, especially through education, about the importance of taking care of the ecology in this region, but, um, but also to clean it up themselves. And the people who worked there were young adults, ages around, say, 18 through 25, and they took a year out to work for the environment and it was really so eye-opening for me working with them. So these were kids mainly from inner city DC and nature was not a big part of their existence. Um, some of them were homeless, most of them lived in the projects and one of them pointed out that you seldom even see a healthy tree around the projects. The last thing they're thinking about is nature. Um, anyway, so for my residency I interviewed them all about some memorable um, experiences they had and I took these these stories that they told me and I incorporated them into the six movement string quartet. The first movement is called Rain and it starts out very delicately and then it gets very um, sort of agitated and almost ominous sounding by the end and the story that it's representing there is one that one of these Earth Conservation Corps members told me how rain is very important. It's, it's life-giving, it can be very beautiful, but when there's too much rain, flooding happens. And because of the large amount of paved areas in this region, the sewers very quickly get overburdened and raw sewage starts, the, I should say the sewage system gets overburdened and raw sewage starts to pour directly into the Anacostia River. So that's the story behind the movement Rain. The next one is called Duck Talk because one of the core members told me that you know she's noticed the ducks there. And even though ducks are pretty pretty common, um, that makes them no less special. And I thought you know this is these ducks deserve to have a, a movement written about them. Um, I drew on a, an earlier memory from perhaps I don't know eight years earlier when I was taking a walk alongside a river in Boston called the Mystic River and there was a duck there and the duck did this little quack it quacked this fo the following rhythm quack 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 like that at the time I was going to New England Conservatory in Boston and we were learning about here's a big word non-retrogradable rhythms basically a rhythmic palindrome it's, you put it backwards and it's the same thing as forwards okay so it's uh, long, short, 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 long. And I thought, wait, well, that, that duck just quacked in non-retrogradable rhythm. Anyway, um, I remembered that little snippet of uh, a duck talking, and I decided to make that the beginning of the movement. And um, I, I was trying to imitate you know, ducks quacking in all the instruments and imagining what would a duck conversation sound like. Um, so I use that little quacking rhythmic motif um, and I also tried to make a nice tune out of it because I don't like to use techniques just because they represent something. For me and my music I wanted everything to have a nice tune too. So that's Duck Talk. The next movement is Trees Lament. Uh, one of the stories that was told me was about how the trees, they don't always thrive. So if they're in a really a polluted area, um, they, they, they're not getting the fresh air and water that they need to thrive. And um, also with the, the large amount of paved areas, when you have a tree, let's say it's in the middle of a city and there's a tree 
and it has and it's right next to the sidewalk very often the pavement goes up pretty close to the tree and the trees roots don't have room to grow as they need to so they start making these sort of knee like looking knobs on them which are called girdling roots and so that's the tree's lament is sort of um, my take on like if a tree could talk what would it be what it would be saying all right next movement is stench stench uh, is that's my favorite <laughs> name of a movement in this piece by the way a uh, stench is a, about a story one of the members told me uh, it was a very hot day hot and muggy and and that day the core members had to go into the Anacostia River they were wearing waders you know these high boots that go up over your thigh and they had to pull out garbage and old tires and what she most remembers was the horrible stench so I thought you know I'm, I'm gonna put this into music and see how that sounds all right so that's stench next movement is a tree grows and this is celebrating um, the the beauty of trees um, the how they they give life they clean our air they provide shade and of course food source for insects and animals and also a place for birds so toward the end of this movement I start incorporating bird calls um, from the, some of the birds that are native to the region and if there are any um, birders out there I, I'll tell you quickly just the the four birds that I represented one is the tufted titmouse one is the white-throated sparrow um, the northern mockingbird and also the morning dove so um, you hear those bird calls at the end of that movement all right final movement is called river walk it starts out very um, stark and almost angry sounding and that's supposed to represent the sort of dire situation got my little cheat sheet here that's this paper um, the sort of dire situation of the nature in the region right now and um, but then it gets very hopeful and the it's called river walk because part of what these uh, young adults working at the Cons earth conservation corps part of what they did was they were planning a river walk alongside, of course, the river. Um, this would be a path that had a, a place for the pedestrians and for the bicyclists. It was going to have benches along there so people could sit and enjoy the nature and also some places uh, with shade and some places where they could have art exhibits. And it was supposed to bring the public to nature so they could savor it and also um, they were planning on landscaping this area so very hopeful and it was it's my attempt at the happy ending of this piece so even though Riverwalk starts very stark sounding it ends very happily so that's my piece um, I, I wrote it back in 2003 and now it's as I make this video it's 2020 and I think of it as one of my favorite pieces that I've written so uh, I hope you all enjoy my Anacostia journal